Hello Angel Babies. So I'm about to light the sage. I was getting a bunch of downloads yesterday. Um, I should have wrote them down. A lot of them I felt like were personal, but the one that I didn't feel was personal was um, if you guys have been experiencing like, let's say something happens and you know, you experience your first emotion, which let's say it's like happiness or whatever. Um, Go with that first emotion. Don't overthink it. All right. Um, I feel like a lot of you, like you're easily persuade, persuaded. Like if somebody tells you a story and, you know, maybe it irritates you or something about it, like feels off or something like that. Go with your first emotion. Don't talk yourself out of it because that's your intuition speaking. Your intuition whispers and it will be the first emotion that you experience. All right. Um, by the time you like either talk yourself out of it or talk yourself into it, it's no longer aligning with you. So that was one message I wanted to make very, very clear. All right, and let's get into it. I don't know. I've been like extremely like restless and irritant like irritable lately like I was just wondering I was like I don't know if this is a collective energy or if it's just me um but a lot of you are like um I hear resisting change and if not resisting change like anticipating it in a major way like I feel like a lot of y'all are just tired y'all know that your happiness is like right around the corner and you're just having a hard time jumping through this last hoop it's just kind of like, you know what else do I need to do um, for some of y'all, somebody from your past wants to come back and offer you something. I'm not really not sure what, but this is definitely somebody that previously gave you anxiety, okay? Um, and I feel like this offer, I don't think this offer is going to stress you out, but I think you're going to wonder about, you know, like the, the genuine, you know, like the legitimacy of this offer, okay? Because I feel like this person, um, they come in and out of your life like real quick all the time, okay? Um, yeah, this person is moving in like real slow and I don't think you notice this, all right? Um, for some of you, Yeah, for some of you, this is still a secret. Like, this person is planning on trying to offer you something, like, on the sly. You know what I mean? Like, trying to slip you. Oh, I'm hearing that song by Erica Badu. And then he slipped me a new key. Certainly, certainly not me. Certainly, certainly not me. I don't know. I hope nobody's trying to slip anything in your fucking drink because... I don't fucking know. They're definitely trying to do something. We got the high priestess in the reverse and we have the moon card in the upright. So somebody's trying to plan moves or try to move in on you like real slow. And they might use their dick to do it. Somebody's trying to do or give you something. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. And it's somebody from your past. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. But somebody is like very angry <clears throat> from your past. I'm really tired of seeing this um possible air sign pop up though from somebody's past I'm, I'm i'm really getting sick of it that's probably why i was feeling so irritable um because i feel like somebody is just within your energetic sphere or trying to pull your energy because i've been also really tired lately somebody's trying to pull your energy to do something on the sly and i feel like you clock in that shit like you've just now been enlightened on what this person is doing but it's like you don't know like, for what reason? Like I said, you don't know, like, the legitimacy. Uh, you, you don't know, like, really what's going on. Like, you probably just have, like, a surface level understanding. But that's going to change. Yeah, somebody's moving real foul. Somebody's moving real fucking foul. Somebody really wants to come offer you something, but this is going to be a trick. It's going to be a trick to either try and come in and, you know, like assault you in some type of way, possibly even sexually. Spirit is just telling you to keep your fucking guard up. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. You could be dealing with an air sign or earth sign. 
or Pisces. It just depends. But somebody's moving real fucking foul, and I don't like it. What is this person planning on doing? Yeah, this person's holding on to some type of truth about somebody. Somebody's holding on to some type of truth about something. Okay, I'm having to deal something that's going to really fuck you up emotionally, I feel like. All right. Um, yeah, something that's going to fuck you up emotionally. And we still have this King of Pentacles at the bottom of the neck. So, like, you could be dealing with any sign, really. But I really do see Pisces. I see an air sign. All right. Um, definitely Pisces though, because Queen of Cups came out along with the moon sign and it's clarifying the high priestess, which is Piscean intuitive ass energy. Something that you weren't using your intuition about, you're getting ready to find out about it now. And it's going to irritate the fuck out of you. I feel like, yeah, tower moment here. It's going to irritate the fuck out of you and cause you disturbance at, at your home. Um, if it hasn't already caused you a disturbance at your home. So I feel like somebody from your past, okay, has contacted somebody that you know personally. Because Pisces is also like a mother figure, okay, um... So it's like somebody's holding on to some type of information that's really going to bother you. But I feel like they don't want to come in and say it because they know that it's going to bother you. Okay. Um, for a lot of y'all, I'm feeling like y'all are unsatisfied with some actions that somebody's been taking. Okay. Possibly from a fire sign. Um, I don't feel like this is any longer causing you any anxiety. I feel like you just kind of like was like, you know, I'm going to chop that shit up to the wind. All right. Um, but there's definitely somebody here, this Piscean energy that's hiding something in secret. Yeah. OK. For some of you, they hide in the fact that they're a fucking narcissist and that they're really fucking selfish. OK. Yeah. And they don't mean you anything but like sadness. And they want to. Yeah. Sadness. Some of you, this fire sign or whoever this is, wants to try and build a relationship with you, try and work hard. But I think they're trying to work hard with you just because they're broke and they want to come in and cause you some type of confusion. Okay, so they can start this new cycle with you. So if you've been building something um, and you're just now getting money from it, if you have been like, I don't know, got a new job, um, graduated um college with some type of degree and you just found work or your you know your passion project okay or whatever is starting to pay off this person has been watching you all right watching you build this and they want to come in and see if they can you know cause you some type of um disturbance in order to get what it is that you have so be on the lookout for that like i said somebody moving real fucking foul i I don't know. I feel like my voice is kind of hoarse. I really don't know. It, it's like almost like I have been screaming, but not screaming. So I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be like real fucked up. Um, Like, damn, this person got me fucked up. All right. Somebody just is overwhelmed with fucking guilt. They're shook as fuck because they're guilty. Um, Like I said, this STD shit keeps popping out. I don't know what the fuck is with it, but somebody needs to go get checked because you possibly might have something. Um, right when I said that, the Aquarius card popped out. All right, the star card. So I don't know if you know anybody that's an Aquarius, male or female. All right, you might just want to watch out because I feel like those two cards pop out together all the time in readings where it's like a, a, an air sign in this STD shit. Okay. Um, but yeah, somebody's feeling guilty as fuck and they're overwhelmed by it. And this person knows that whatever it is, um, that you said about them or whatever truth it is that you had to speak about them is absolutely true. So they're really shook over how you know this information. Um, I feel like, you know, some of it, like I said, okay, like, you know, some of it, but you don't know the exact, the exact details of what's going on. Okay. For some of you, somebody lied to you about, you know, why it is that they're single, okay? Or they lied about being single and they thought that they could lie to you about what it is that they have. Like, I don't know if they tried to... Yeah, somebody was trying to keep you in an illusion. So they were trying to make it seem like they had um, a bunch of stuff going on for, for them. 
okay, like maybe they got this. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this person is like, oh, yeah, you know, they see you moving on and doing good. And they're like, oh, yeah, I have a new job, too. Or, you know, um, I went over here and I bought this, too. And I did this, you know, like trying to match what it is that you have. But in reality, this person is feeling really fucking guilty. Yeah. And like I said about this STD shit, I think I don't know if that's tied into why this person is feeling guilty, but we shall see. But this person is, like, deeply upset, okay? Somebody's being self but Okay, well, the Virgo card pops out on what the STD is, okay? Somebody's being, like, deeply, deeply upset and been really, really fucking selfish and hasn't been practicing good hygiene. I really don't know if this is spiritual hygiene or, you know, physical hygiene. But, um, yeah, we have the Queen of Cups, the Devil, the Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, all right? Oh, my God. Queen of Swords, didn't I tell you there is an Aquarius here? Somebody has been fucking around with like three people. All right. And it's caused nothing but like tower moments. We have five of wands here, which is confusion. Oh my God. And the two of wands here. And in the end, ain't none of these fucking bitches wanting to stick around this one nasty ass fucking person. You have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords all in the reverse. And the only thing in the upright is this tower moment, this confusion, okay, and this um eight of pentacles. So, so somebody been fucking around with at least three fucking people spreading fucking disease and shit. Spreading fucking disease and shit. We have the hermit again. I can't make this shit up. I really can't make this shit up. Okay, so you have the hermit there again. You have the hermit here, okay, and then you have one queen. Okay, you have two queens, tower moment, confusion, working hard, trying to make a decision. You got three queens. Somebody been real fucking foul. I told you somebody been moving real fucking foul. And this shit has me upset. I hope this has nothing to do with my experience because if it does, I'm really finna, <laughs> I'm finna fuck it up for real. Adapting. So somebody is adapting to the fact that they're... They weren't seeing things for what they really were at some point in time. Uh, somebody is hollow on the inside. I would think that you would have to be hollow on the inside if you're around here spreading STDs around and shit. Um, yeah, we have this house is not a home. So somebody is feeling like where they are at is not a home any longer. They're uncomfortable in their own house. Um which is literally the energy that I was picking up like the last few days of just being uncomfortable and not knowing what the fuck is wrong. That's why I said this might be like mutual energy for some of y'all because I always tell, I always keep saying this on my channel, like just because I'm going through something or a tarot reader is going through something, like usually we're also feeling collective energy because we channel people's energy all the time. That's why we get up and you'll hear a tarot reader say, um, or a medium be like, you know, I just couldn't sleep. Like I had to come in and do this reading because, you know, something was just bothering me. It was just on my heart. You know what I mean? Um, some of y'all going to be moving away from this tower moment. Like y'all going to be... <laughs> Yeah, invest in your relationship after a loss. So somebody is expecting you to invest in them in some type of way after they don't possibly burn the fuck out of you and two other people. What the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah, we have somebody that's like, they haven't moved away emotionally, but they're trying to, okay? They're just really shook. They're really shook. And I feel like for some of them, um, their guard is up. Like I said, like, I feel like a guard dog. Like, I feel like something's wrong, but I can't really, like, put my finger on it. And I feel like that's, like, mutual energy. Like, you just know something. Something's within the ether. Something, something's happening, but you don't really know what it is. All right? And I feel like um, a lot of y'all, y'all have y'all guard up right now. Yeah, we have this King of Swords here so that's feeling guilty. All right? Also kind of angry, but, like, feeling just real guilty that, you know, they're almost, they're so guilty and feeling so sad and stuck about what it is that they've done that they literally are numb. Like, they're numb. King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a, like, air sign, earth sign cusp. Doesn't have to be, but this person is so sad that they literally are just, like, hollow on the inside. Yeah, we still have this nine of fucking Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody lied. 
somebody lied. Injustice. Yes, they were committing injustice. Committing all kinds of injustice. This person is broke as fuck. This person is definitely from your past. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Libra. Five of Pentacles. You probably left this person out in the cold. And we have the Fool in the reverse, which means you didn't take a new start with this person. Um, even if they did try to come back and explain to you like what the fuck happened. I don't feel like you were you trying to listen to that shit at all. Period. And I'm getting like, I'm sorry in my head. Like, this person tried to offer you some type of weak-ass apology. I hate you because he chose you and not me. Yeah, like, literally, somebody's upset because they didn't get fucking chose. But, I mean, I really don't know, man. Like, I really don't fucking know. Like, would you want somebody that had an STD? We have Sunday, the sun, the light, Leo. Somebody's coming to the light. Somebody's having, like, um their initiation process like now okay yeah this person has some tiny ass energy or they feel like you have some tiny ass energy but i really feel like it's this person because if you're able to jump around to like three different people prayers hyper and beware so this person has been praying upon you okay and you need to beware okay you need to be oh, okay we have hyper like hypersensitive that's how i've been feeling lately is like hypersensitive because somebody has been preying on you in some type of way all right i don't fucking like that shit we have capricorn woman here all right we did have the queen of pentacles here that hasn't walked away from a situation but it's just like on guard and they probably haven't walked away because they're they're having financial issues um can't you see i'm getting bored honestly Okay, because I feel like that also ties into, like, restlessness, being hypersensitive. Because it's just, like, you want to wait. It's almost like I got a feeling of, like, you're waiting for something to happen that you know is going to piss you off. But you don't know what it is. So, you don't want to do anything else, which is creating this boredom until you figure out what the fuck it is that it is you, that, that you're sensing. Okay, this person is a fish. I told you that there was big Piscean energy. All right? Stop obsessing over past bullshit. It's over. I love you. Chill the fuck out. Stress kills. So somebody wants you to forget about how they've treated you. Oh, I want to cheat. You make me very unhappy. Yeah, somebody wants you to forget about how they've treated you so that you don't go out and do the same thing that they did. So if this person stepped out on you with like two, three different people um, or tried to step out on you with two or three different people, I feel like you are waiting for that shit to happen again because you already know that you finna go out the fucker. You finna fuck it up. Okay. Um, so I'm also getting that type of energy as well. But I feel like you don't know to the extent of what this person has done because we have this STD card here. Like, you don't get the extent of what this person did. I allowed myself to be seduced by someone else, literally. Oh, this person is a fucking mess. That's all I have to say. Bad sex, lost without you. Man, ho, he's for everyone. I, I can't fucking make this shit up. I really can't make this shit up. For some of y'all, y'all mama want to tell you that this person ain't fucking shit. For some of y'all, y'all mama want, somebody mama wants to come in and tell you that this person ain't fucking shit. I hope you're looking at the camera. I didn't say anything. I, I just started doing this, but like, yeah. Some of y'all, this person's finna reap fucking karma and they think that by coming to you and, you know, apologizing or offering you some weak ass fucking offer that's still attached to some fucking deceit is gonna somehow help them. And, and it's not. It, it's not. It's not. Okay. It, it's definitely not because I'd still be mad as the fuck. Like, nigga, you know your dick was dirty. You ain't say no shit to me. You're around here spreading shit around to different people. Okay, now all four of y'all motherfuckers got something fucking incurable. And, and yeah, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. I feel like some of y'all, y'all just like so on guard because you just know, like you can sense the fucking bullshit. Like, I hear like your spirit guys have really been trying to contact you, especially in your fucking dreams to let you know what the fuck is going on with this person. Like your ancestors have been right there. In the some of y'all, y'all ancestors been right there in the fucking spiritual realm fucking with this person. Like if this person, like if you're still in the house with this person, this person been like jumping in their sleep, or um, 
jumping up in their sleep or just like randomly waking up or something like that. Your ancestors are fucking them up. Period. Or the person that's just living like, or come to you with that apology, talking about, oh, you know, I really couldn't think straight, or, you know, I was having a hard time sleeping. Premonition and prophecy. I ain't, I can't fucking lie to you. I can't fucking lie to you. Okay. Um, and y'all hear me shuffling the fuck out of these cards, too, even though you can't see the whole thing. Just because I don't feel like setting everything up. Really, when I do blackout videos, it's because of laziness. That's why I'm constantly picking up the camera and showing you what's happening. Um... I work from a very small, small space, okay, so I also use that space as, like, a little dresser, so FYI, I don't always feel like putting that shit off because sometimes the message is becoming too fucking quick. We have bathroom and cleanse. Um, be careful about cleansing in the bathroom. I was listening to another spiritualist, and she said that if you see faces... All right, if you're very intuitive and you start seeing faces while you are doing a spiritual cleansing or you just look at the wall and you randomly see a face, that means that um, somebody has sent you something spiritually, okay? Like sent you like familiar spirits to watch you or somebody is physically um, start watching you or like stalking you on social media or something like that. That's one of the ways that you can know that somebody's um, moving real foul in the ethers. So some of y'all need to spiritually cleanse because, like I said, somebody has been eyeing you. We have direction and timing, okay, manifesting and planting. We have food, which is nourishment, and we have sensual and confidence. So, like, while you're cleansing yourself and manifesting and building shit um, so that you can ascend, all right, and like I said, you have support from your angels here, Um Somebody has been fucking watching you. Somebody has been watching you. And there's a three on this card, too, with premonition. All those birds are shaped like a three. So I'm going to look that up right now. Because three talks about, you know, mind, body, and spirit. Three is the number of, you know, you building yourself up, okay? So I feel like for some of y'all, like this... is very significant for you. Whatever it is that you're about to find out, like to the extent that you're going to find it out, is going to be very, very, very fucking interesting, okay? It's, it's really going probably, I don't want to say that, but it, like spirit is like, it's really going to eat you up. It's really going to eat you up. Yeah, growth, inspiration, inner guidance, and manifestation. Like somebody sees you manifesting and they want to come in and somehow get a hold of your energy I, don't, I really don't know what this person is planning on doing um so for some of y'all this may not even be like a sexual type of std for some of y'all it's gonna be but for others of you this is just like a spirit that this is attached to this person that through sex they have attached it to you and to other people all right um by not having good spiritual hygiene so this person this person just got fucked up ass energy and that's what you're sensing they got fucked up ass energy yeah it says give it up power and calling it quick so somebody just needs to give it the fuck up okay i don't know if they're trying to do spell work on you or what but they need to make a decision to move on you know even if it takes a long time they need to make a decision to move on because uh, what's going on right here ain't fucking worth it. It ain't fucking worth it. Yeah, deception. See, somebody needs to go ahead and fucking be single. Because this situation ain't fucking worth it. This person just wants to come in and fucking gaslight you. Okay? And they've done this with three other fucking people. They've done it with an earth sign, an air sign, and a water sign. Okay? This is what they do to people. Yeah, third party energy. I can't. Third party ass fucking energy, okay? This person is deceitful in the choices that they make and the actions that they take on the fucking sly. Somebody needs to go ahead and move on and be single because literally Ace of Wands take action somewhere else. Even if it takes you a minute, this momentum of you taking action elsewhere is building because all this person wants to do is fucking gaslight you and lie to you, all right? Cause pain. Yeah, they have little of nothing to offer. They're stuck in a cycle. Okay? Yeah. They're stuck in a cycle of being like the bruised 
war like somebody's ego is fucking bruised okay and they're stuck in that cycle and i feel like Yeah, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a, um, like I said, I saw a like big Virgo energy, especially with the Queen of Pentacles. And look what popped out at the bottom of here. Okay, the Hermit again. So you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, I saw Cancerian energy here, Piscean energy, and Libra energy. All right, as well as Capricorn. But I feel like for y'all, like this person is just, a fucking mess and i feel like for some of you you are the queen of pentacles okay and this person is trying to gaslight you and keep you in this hurt hurt space so that you don't manifest anything else okay so that you stay stuck in a cycle with them so like just watch out for this person because they moving real fucking shysty they moving real shysty they ain't got fucking shit to offer you either so just beware, beware. If you need me for a personal reading, you already know to go ahead and look in the description box. And until next time, I will see you later.